Hello everybody, I'm Gamers101 and welcome back to Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. I was really eager to get back into this game. Also, sorry, I bumped my mic. I don't know if you heard that. But I was really eager to get back into this game. As soon as I finished the last episode, I had to go to bed, unfortunately. So, however, the first episode will not have been uploaded by the time I have started recording this. So, if you've answered anything in the first episode, I won't have taken into account by this one. But I will by the next one, so I apologize about that. Oh, wait, hang on a second. Hang on a second, Mario. Something just occurred to me. I'm fairly certain there are quite a few hoodlums below, so uh, keep your guard up. You two do know about your action commands, don't you? Of course! Really? Master, are you? Maybe you ought to practice them once just to be safe? No thanks, I'm good. A bold young lad, aren't you? Very well then, down we go. Just stand on the pipe and tilt down to enter it. Yeah, I don't need to do this because I have done this a lot. I can't remember where every star piece is, so I'm just kind of checking. I know my action commands. I, I don't need practice with them. There's another save block right there. Don't need to hit it, though. I don't think there's anything over here for me. Uh, that person right there, I can't reach them at the moment, but that's the person who sells the badges for star pieces. Inside here is... Uh, I'm not even going to bother talking to this person, but they'll basically give you hints about star pieces, shine sprites, and your next path if you forget. For a price. Not that expensive, but... I don't need to do it because I know what to do, so... Whoop! Hey, hey man, what's up? <laughs> Who's the hottie you got there with you? <laughs> what's up, baby? Why don't you hang with us for a while? We play real nice. Man, what's a fine-looking Goomba doing with a tubby mustache man like that? Oh, it is, like, so sweet that you boys think I'm cute. Seriously? Yeah, guys like you make me feel like totally barfing. Now get out of our way. Ouch, that was cold. What, you rubbed? What, you're too good for us? Come off it, sister. Nobody zings us like that. Nobody. Let's get them. A Goomba, a Spiny Goomba, and a Paragoomba. My, the whole Goomba family tree. The only one I should warn you about is that fellow in the middle, the spiny Goomba. See that spike on his head? Well, jump on that, and you're the one who'll take damage. Unless you have the bad spike shield. Paragoomba's airborne, so your hammer won't reach. You'll have to jump for him. Always take your opponent's situation into consideration when fighting. Always. Oh, that's right. I forgot to tell you something vital. You can press Y to change the order you two attack in. You can, you, if you can attack first, if you feel like feel like it, Goombella, don't forget that. All right. Um, I'm actually gonna do that. This is why, because I want to. Uh, I wanted to hit that one with a hammer. Gotcha. Does he lose his wings for that? No, he doesn't. Okay. As you can see, I know my action commands. <laughs> you got ten, 10 star points. Oh, yeah. Okay. Ha! <laughs> Later on, losers. That felt awesome. Are you ready, Mario? There are plenty more where they came from, and they'll have it in for all. They'll all have it in for us. I attack, try to hammer them or jump on them while in the field. Attack successfully, and you can perform first strike when you enter battle. So, if an enemy catches sight of you, be sure to thump him as you go into battle. Just don't jump on the spiky dudes. Just don't jump on the spiky boys. Almost fell. <laughs> yeah, you can attack while you're in the field. Weird that that pipe transition is in 30 FPS. I, no I just now noticed that. Boink! I did it. <laughs> now, uh, editing is something I don't really want to do, but I absolutely will do if I find it necessary. So, if you guys don't want to see every battle, I will, uh, uh, you can actually hammer those guys when they do that. Oh, wow, it's just one. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I didn't, uh, you can actually hammer those guys. Um, oh, what's, oh, sorry, no, unrelated. Ah, coins! Okay. 
So you can hammer those guys when they actually come down. I think there's a... Oh, <laughs> I forgot you could do that on the stairs. I was like, I wonder if you can. Boink, 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 beep. I did it. I got three star points. Yay. I didn't need any health stuff, but... Oh, also a free, a free mushroom. You got an item. You can use items to attack enemies and replenish your HP. Press start and choose items from your gear screen to seek your items. Yeah, this game is pretty simple in that regard. That's an attack item right there, a fire flower. Boink, boink. We'll go down there in a second, but first off, I want to see what's over here. Oh, right. Yeah, these. Okay. So, I can't do anything with these, and I can't do anything with this yet. So, we're just going to ignore that for now. However, there is a shine sprite up there that we cannot get to yet. And I don't think we can get to it until we actually open up those other... What those, what those are, are, I believe, are shortcuts to other worlds. Or levels, or whatever you want to call them. Pink up! Oh, little squishy thingy. <laughs> I was really trying to hit him. Okay. Getting an attack in it like that is basically a free attack, so if you, every chance you get to do that, you should do it. Yay! I don't think we get an audience until after we get the, uh, get to the thousand year well, right now, it's no big deal. Yeah. <laughs> it, oh, oh, there's two of them this time, okay. And the, one of them will be easy to kill right now. One thing I want to do real quick is, um, or tattle. I don't know why you can do a stylish on that. That's a spinya, a totally weird creature made of thin, papery boards. It certainly looks unique. Nobody knows much about these creatures, actually. Max HP has three, attack is one, and defense is zero. So if I hit him one more time, he's gonna die, basically. Oh, wait, no, 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 he still has three. I didn't attack with Goomba. Its attacks are super swift, but it should be pretty easy to just give it a hey ya, hey ya. Ah, uh, I tried. I tried to do a super guard. It didn't work out quite quite well. Oh yeah, once you tattle on them, you can see their, uh, you can see their, uh, health as soon as you tattle them. Yay! We're on our way to the thousand year coin. I want the coin! Okay, thank you. Boink! I love how everything is, uh, like, you open a path, oh, rip the paper off. <laughs> also, the writing in this game, it hasn't, it, it's been pretty pretty good so far, but the writing in this game is awesome. The humor in it is absolutely hysterical sometimes. And actually, before I do that, let's just go ahead and grab the key so I don't have to come back out here. That'll just make it a little bit easier for me. Well, not even easier, just save a second. So that we can go in here, talk to him. Whoa! Hey, you! Can you hear me? You can? That must mean you're the hero of legend. What? Only the great hero of legend can hear my voice. Yeah, everyone else, nothing. See, long ago, an evil spirit cast a curse on me, locking me in this box. I was bummed. I've been here ever since, waiting a long, long time for the hero to come by. So yeah, anyway, big guy, what brings a hero like you to a place like this? Eh, uh, Mario, a word with you? I'm not exactly confident that we can trust this box. Right. I think it may be best not to mention that we're looking for the crystal stars. Alright. Well, Drat. I just said it out loud! What's wrong with me? Oh yeah? Searching for the crystal stars, are you now? So you really are a hero. Well, you're definitely gonna need my help if you hope to get those bad boys. So first, you should look for the key to this box, and then use it to let me out. Definitely. By the way, the key looks like this. Well, what do you think we ought to do, Mario? Hmm. Well, I know my vote goes to you finding the key. I'm sure it's around here somewhere. Come on, being stuck in a box is no picnic. I'm counting on you. Oh, great legendary hero. Yeah, he's just doing a lot of, uh, a lot of ego stroking, so. Well, I got the key, so let's see. Whoa, 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 you brought the key. Yes, oh man, I owe you big. Um, nah. Oh, come on, don't taunt me. H hurry up and open it. <laughs> okay, I'll open it. Yes, thank, <laughs> thank nothing. Wee! 
fools. Oh boy, did you fall for it. I burned you. What, you think I was gonna help you? Instead, I'm gonna spread a little of the suffering I've endured in that stupid box. Yeah, sorry, but those are the breaks. I'm gonna cast an evil, terrible curse upon you. Buggly wuggly woo, you're cursed. Wee <laughs> enjoy that curse, sucker. You got what you deserve. You wanna hear all about the sweet curse I just dropped? Then listen well. From now on, if you press Y in certain areas, you'll turn into a paper airplane. Wee <laughs> trembling yet? Suffer the rest of your days under my terrible curse. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> oh, I can't help but chortle. You're doomed. This curse is pretty rough, I guess, so I suppose I owe it to you to explain it. Ready? If you stand on an airplane panel like this one, the floor will start to glow. Yeah, okay, you're on the panel. Now try pressing Y, and then bam, you're a paper airplane. The worst part of this curse is that you must tilt left and right to control yourself. I guess if you got good at it, you might fly a long way, but that's the only good thing. Oh, be honest. Isn't this curse just about the worst thing that's ever happened to you? Uh, I zoned out. What was that? No, I'm not doing that because he'll just explain everything again. Yes, I get it. It's terrible. We <laughs> if you press B, you might turn return to normal. Maybe. Farewell, you foolish fool. We <laughs> Yes. So, uh, wow. Just, wow. What was that guy's beef? I don't know. He's, he's kind of crazy. But he, uh, he says he cursed me, but I think he just gave me a new ability. So let's try it out. Whoop. I did it. <laughs> oh boy, we got a cutscene. I did see that shine sprite. I can't get to it yet, though. Oh, oh, Mario, Goombella, look at that. It's the thousand year door spoken of in the legends. I can't believe it's real. So the legends are all true. There it is, big as life. Come, let's move closer. Uh, star piece, I think. There's a star piece behind one of these stairs, I believe, so I'm trying to going to check. Might be right here. No? Maybe I was just wrong. I could have sworn there was a star piece around here somewhere. Oh, uh, you know what? It might be in a ground pound uh, spot that I don't have ground pound yet, so. Yeah. So I think, I think that's where it's at. What? Hey, what's the deal with this weird pedestal, huh? What could it be, you think? Oh, no. Let's go step on it. Oh, my gosh. A big light. It's so bright and shiny. Professor, what's going on? Also, I love because the, the 2D models in a 3D land, they, they spin along with us. They don't really change positions. <laughs> I don't know, I just find that funny. <laughs> It's so shiny! It's a crystal star! The location of a crystal star has been recorded on your magical map. And Mario has learned a special move. You can now use Sweet Treat. Yay! Each time you get a crystal star, you'll learn a new special move. Ooh. Ooh. Professor, the map. And what was all what was with all those crazy lights? Hmm. It appears that information related to the locations of the crystal stars has appeared. That shining light it looked as if a mysterious power was given to Mario. Well, one way or another, we should return to my place and study the map as close map closely. Yes, yes, we should. Hmm. Ah, I see. 
Do you understand it, Professor? I'm sorry, I like the song. <laughs> my dear, of course I do. Firstly, about that light we saw shining on Mario. By my reckoning, Mario can now perform what is known as a special move. Special move? Yes, it. Well, stuff like this is better explained by rather than words. Would you like to try it out? Uh, no thanks. I know how to do it. This is very important. You better listen. I mean it. Are you ready to listen? No thanks. Hmm. You're absolutely sure? Well, all right then. Let's have a look at that magical map and see what we can learn about the... Wow! Astounding! The map has a radar -like, has radar-like functions that now shows the location of a crystal star. It looks like the first crystal star is to be found in a place called the Petal Meadows. Petal Meadows? Yes! The area is a vast meadow that lies far to the east of Rogueport. To tell you the truth, I've always thought that place was a tad suspicious. The name Petal Meadows did come up from time to time in my research. Okay, fine, so we'll go there. Does anybody know how to get there, or what? I'm fairly certain that somewhere beneath the city is a pipe to the Petal Meadows. If you could just find that, you'd get there instantly. Pipe travel's, si tra pipe travel's efficient! <laughs> it's like airplanes. <laughs> uh, wait a minute. Hi. Say, by the way, Mario, I'm curious, where did you get that map anyway? Huh. From Princess Peach, really? Her Highness sent this to you, Mario. What? This Princess Peach. This wouldn't be her, would it? Yeah. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah! So it is her! Your princess came to see me the other day. She wanted to learn about the treasure. I told her about the crystal stars and my suspicions about Petal Meadows. It doesn't seem likely, but perhaps she tried to go to Petal Meadows on her own. You know, Professor, there was another suspicious group asking about the same thing. Hmm, but I can't imagine Princess Peach getting involved with them. Alright, it's settled. Off to Petal Meadows, you two go. If Princess Peach indeed went there, your first priority must be to catch up to her. Collecting the crystal stars is a means to an end, and that end is Princess Peach. Okay. Thank you for my map back. Aren't you coming, Professor? No, I'll stay in town and ask around about Princess Peach and that suspicious gang. Besides, I doubt a shriveled old Goomba like me could handle the trials of the road. Of course, if anything happens and you need some advice, come see me, okay? You got it, Professor. Also, well, Mario, we're off. Also, I just want to say that the character designs in this game are absolutely fantastic. His glasses are, like, perfect for the character, by the way. This is the only Mario game I can think of off the top of my head. Wait just a moment! You got a power smash. Hammer a single enemy using lots of attack power. This is our first badge. Mario, it's scary out there. Take this with you. It's called a badge, and it is incredibly helpful. See, depending on the badges you have equipped, you'll get much more powerful. What's important is knowing what the effects will be when you first equip a badge. Would you like to practice equipping and removing badges? No, I know how to do that. Are you absolutely sure this is the last time I'll ask? You want to practice? No thanks. By the way, you need flower points to use the power smash move. In battle, you should watch not only your HP, but FP too. Did, all, did you get all that? Well, here's hoping you find that pipe to Petal Meadows. All right. One thing I want to do really quickly is go see if the badge shop is open because I actually want to equip some badges. Badges are incredibly powerful, especially if you know how to utilize them properly. They are some of the sole ways of playing the game. Some people like to do the Peril Mario, Peril Mario Challenge, which you don't ever increase your HP and you stay at 1 HP at all times. It's hilarious. Uh, piercing blow, deliver damage. So that can be good. Stomp on a single enemy using lots of attack power. That's just a single stomp. It's basically the same thing as the power smash, but in, in jump form. Make action commands easy, but earn less star power. Drop damage to your ally takes by half when in danger. Same thing for Mario. So none of these are things I really want. Others. He's got other stuff here. Oh yeah, so unsimplifier is something I don't really want. Happy Flower slowly and automatically restore FP during battle. Drop Mario's attack power by one, but regain one FP per attack. That's something you could do if you're using other badges to counteract it, because that could actually be really beneficial. But right now, there is no. I only got 54 coins anyway. I could buy Piercing Blow, and that's actually a tempting one, but uh, I don't think I'm going to right now. First off, I do need the other badge. 
We'll get some other badges as the game progresses, but right now I've got all I need. The one badge is all we need for the for the moment. So we can just deal with that. Now we're gonna go down to Petal Meadows and begin our adventure. We don't have any shine sprites yet. However, I do kinda wanna see. Let's uh let's take this guy on. You gotta be kidding, you think you can fight your way through here? I'm gonna make you eat your words, tough guy. Let's get this party started. Okay, first things first. Goombella, you get out in front. Oh, not headbunk. Tattle. Whoop. That's Gus. He's super annoying and tries to take tolls from everyone. Max HP is 20, attack is 3, and defense is 0. All in all, he's pretty tough. Oh, and I've told you a million times, that point of spear of his hurts if you stomp on it. I wonder if this guy watches people pass 365 days a year. Talk about a workaholic. <laughs> yes. And we're going to have to whittle him down. I did it. Ow. We are going to use our fire flower on him because it's five damage, so that'll, that'll negate some of it. Oh, no, it does three. I thought it did five. Do it again. Dang. Okay. See, the problem with Goombella is I can't do much with her. So, I'm forced to use Mario's hammer in this fight. That's why it's not terribly advised to do this early on, but I'm doing it anyway. If you give Super Guard, you're in a really good spot. Especially since he does three, but if you can't super guard, just do a regular garden to get the damage by one. Obviously, the trick is to just, well, stay alive, so. Yeah, see, defending like that was great. So, defend again. I tried to super guard, but I wasn't able to do it. But if you can super guard, you can take, out, take him down by one HP, and that'll make this fight last one less turn, in my particular case. Yeah, just defend again. And and if I get down too low, you can always use Sweet Tree to refill, so it's no big deal. If I get down to a point where I'm afraid he'll kill me, then that's when I would, uh... That's when I would probably decide to use Sweet Treat. But I got this under control, so... I did it. We beat Gus and got 22 star points. I did it. Crud, you dumb video game heroes always pull this stuff. It's ridiculous. You think violence solves everything, don't you, huh? Don't you? Well, it solved that one. Can't get in there yet. Uh, I believe this place... Yeah, I'm out of the office. Please come again. Yeah, we can't do that right now. Uh, yeah. So, there's really no reason to come over here at this particular moment. But getting him out of the way early on is actually just... It's kind of a little, like, the first real challenge, I guess I would say. Obviously, you don't even need to worry about him anytime soon. Like, you don't need to worry about him right away. So you could just do that later and not do it when I, like, the way I did it. You could do it when you have way more abilities and a lot stronger. There's only, like, five points to stay here, right? Yeah. So, max out all my stats again. And then we'll head to Petal Meadows. Or towards Petal Meadows, and then that'll be... Once we get there, that'll probably be the end of this episode. Yes, we slept great. Now you're ready to get out there and face the world. See you again soon. Okay, bye! I like how there's a dartboard there. Also, I don't know if I mentioned this already, but this town has a freaking noose. <laughs> I don't got much else to say about that. Uh, okay. One thing I want to do real quick is buy another fire flower. I believe this place has them. Yes. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I, I, I know how this goes. No, I don't want you to explain it again. Just, just give me the freaking... Yeah, there we go. Thank you. Okay, hey, bye! The reason I wanted the fire flower was because I used it, so... And there's a part later on I think I'm going to need it. So I want to hold on to it for that. 
Well, I'm not gonna need it, it'll just prove useful. For now, let's head over to Pedal Meadows, or in that direction. I think there's more Goombas over here now. Down there, maybe? Yeah, there it is. <laughs> I didn't think that hit him. Whatever. They've only got two HP, so it's really no big deal. Especially in the case there's two of them and I got the first hit on them. Boy. I did it. Six star points. We are getting somewhat close to our first level, which is nice. All right, so let's get over this gap. All right. Can't get that chest anytime soon. We, we can't get that for a long time. Huh? What's this? That thing is kind of soggy. I wonder what happens if I, if I uh, jump on it. Bloop, bloop. Ouch, that hurt. Blah, 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 blah. Huh, I wonder what... Oh, don't know what it is. Ah! There's a big old bloopy. Bloop, 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 bloop. Who just up and whacks someone's tootsies like that? Bloop, bloop, bloop. Somebody with some serious moxie, that's who. <laughs> moxie. Bloop, 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 bloop. Would you look at that? It's some saucy mustache guy. Bloop, 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 bloop. He's in a world of hurt. All right. Bloop, 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 bloop. I'll give him a taste of the old tentacle trample. Hey, Mario, you, you remember what Professor Franklin told us, right? You can press Y to change your attack order. If your HP drops, you can press Y to put me in front. Well, I'm going to do that anyway. Because I want you to tattle. Do -do -do. That's a blooper and a really super humongous one, too. Ew, it's all slimy. I just totally can't stand slimy, nasty, icky things. G-R-O-S-S, -S, gross. XHP is 12, attack is 1, and defense is 0. It attacks with tentacles and ink. Once you damage both its tentacles, it'll fall down, and then it's attack time. By the way, the tentacles have each have 3 HP. Now relax and house on that slimy, nasty blue. Alright. I think I can go ahead and get this one. Yes, I can. So we'll take one of them out right away, and that'll reduce its attack. I didn't get the last one. <laughs> Jeez, I forgot how close that was. I tried to do her, uh... I did it. So if, if you want to get real technical, the thing has 18 HP, but no big deal. I did it. And we'll... We don't, we don't need to waste our FP right now, so we'll just, uh... Yeah, now he's gonna get up. Yeah, so you get a couple free attacks. Oh. Okay, well I'll use a I'll use a power smash now. Actually, am I gonna need to? I don't think I'm gonna need to because he's at six. So if I hit him for two, yeah, we're, yeah, we're, we'll get him next turn no matter what I do. So unless I fail an action command. Ah, uh, we got inked. Okay. Yeah, see, that was the one I was worried about. Now I just now I just go full on MC Hammer and, and take care of him. Did it. 20 star points. We're going to have 85. We are pretty close to getting our first level up. The first level up will go to flower points. And then next from there on, it'll be almost BP for a little while. Mostly to prepare for when I do get the badges that I want. The way I usually do it is I do HP, uh, HP, BP, FP. HP, HP, BP, FP. Some people do it differently. Some people like to do it more balanced and kind of do one each level. And that's, that's a perfectly serviceable way of doing it. But I like having lots of BP, personally. So I'm, I'm usually pretty confident in my abilities to fight back. So I don't need too much uh, HP. Or rather to Super Garden stuff most of the time. But that being said, I haven't played this game in a very long time, so maybe I shouldn't be so cocky. <laughs> Paddle Meadows. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Hmm. It's pretty. 
Well, here we are on the Petal Meadows, where folks say a crystal star hides. Woohoo! Here we go, Mario, the start of our adventure. This is completely awesome. Yes! First things first. Give me that mushroom. I don't think this one has any. Oh, yeah, it has a star piece. I was completely wrong. All right, well. Actually, no, not yet. Not yet. Let's go here. Oh my gosh. Holy moly guacamole. Whoa, what was that? Oh, is that a... Wow, Mario, look. What a bum bum. I love how tiny his wings are. <laughs> totally incredible. I've never seen anything that humongous before. It looked kind of scary, too. Weird. Professor frankly said this place was supposed to be was peaceful. Wow, crazy. We just started already. There's an intrigue. Come on, Mario. Let's go. In the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you guys like my uh, content, feel free to subscribe for videos every single day if you haven't already. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to join my Discord, link is in the description below. And I will see you in the next video. Okay, bye!